What is up everyone, Nick Choice Gaming here. Today I'm going to be doing a short video basically showing you how to delete your old Minecraft configuration files for your client. So if you're trying to use a client and when you press the inject button and your client basically just crashes on you, whatever you're using, if it's Horizon, Zephyr, Strike, and you know you're on the correct update of Minecraft, you know that it should work, but it's just not working. So you already turned off your real-time protection and you also downloaded Visual Studios and it's still not working, then this might be a fix for you. So first of all, what you want to do is hit the Windows key on your keyboard, type in run. After you do that, you will get this little pop-up box where you can type in. You want to write in what you see here. You want to type in percentage sign, app data, percentage sign, and you do not want to put any spaces. And so once you do that, press OK and it should bring you to this folder location. From here at the top, you want to go back to app data. You could do that by just clicking on it. And then you want to go to local. And then you want to scroll down until you find packages. In packages, you want to find Minecraft. You want to find the Minecraft package. Sometimes this can be very difficult to find because it blends in. So you could go ahead and go into the search packages and just type in Minecraft. This is basically what it'll look like, but I'm just going to type in Minecraft so I can show you the other way. And so it might be the first thing that pops up, but it'll look like this. And you could just basically double click on it and then it'll take you here. From here, you just want to go and click on roaming state. And there will be your configuration files or configs. Once you delete them and then you re-inject the clients, it'll create new ones. And so this might be one of the solutions to if your Minecraft is crashing, but it shouldn't be because you're on the correct updates and you have Visual Studios. You also have your real-time protection disabled. Make sure to delete them from your recycling bin as well. Now there is a faster way to do this. You want to go ahead and open up your file explorer, delete quick access, and I'll leave the text in the description below, but you want to paste that in this address bar. Once you paste it in, you want to go ahead and change your name to whatever your PC's name is. And then after that, you could just press enter. And as you can see, it'll bring you to the exact folder. If you don't know the name of your PC, the user, just type in that text again, delete everything down to users. And this might not even be the right location for you because you might have Minecraft installed in a different location. And that's why I showed the app data way first because that's just most likely how it's going to be. So this seems to be kind of a hidden solution because you wouldn't really think to delete your old config files. So once you're done with all that, try injecting the client again and hopefully whatever client you're trying to use works for you. And that is all I have for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.